A sobering but at the same time utterly hilarious warning today on the true cost of jumping too early onto the alternative powertrain bandwagon. This is a real juxtaposition of two ownership concepts. Green fantasy versus sobering reality. You might even want to stand next to the nearest defibrillator because we're talking an eye-watering 176,000 Schittsvillian micro pesos to repair a seven-year-old Hyundai Tucson with a twist. And no, dude, this is not fake news. I'm Jordan Logan from AutoExpert.com.au, Newcastle, Australia only, website, card. Till Westberg is an IT consultant from Bad Homburg in Hesse, which, according to my geographic research, is just inside the rectum of Frankfurt in Germany. It looks quite nice, too, and Bad Homburg is a properly kick-ass name. If you grow up there, I'm confident your fists get hard and your wits get keen. There are also plenty of lovely cafes where you can enjoy half a dead pig washed down with a gallon or two of beer for breakfast. So that is quite nice. Mr Westberg enjoyed seven years of trouble-free motoring, clocking up a modest 84,000 kilometres in his 50,000 euro Hyundai Tucson slash iX35 before its planet-saving hydrogen fuel cell powertrain took a great, steaming, undignified dump deep in its trousers. Of course, prior to winning the Academy Award for Most Impressive In-Trouser Defecation Ever in a mid-sized SUV, its bad Homburgian owner was quite satisfied with the vehicle's performance. It would cover four or five hundred kilometres between refills, and they're electrified, so reasonably silent. He described it as being, quote, extremely suitable for everyday use, only in German, obviously. The repair bill, a staggering, it's not funny, 104,000 euros. That's $113,000 in proper... American money, or 176,000 bucks in our far more aesthetically pleasing plastic shit currency, the most beautiful, worthless currency in the entire third world. Oi, oi, oi. For that kind of coin, like 176,000 big ones, you can drive away in a brand new trouser TP inspiring BMW M3 competition manual, or roughly nine Kia Picantos, just saying. The price of a new fuel cell alone, almost 85,000 euros. That's 144,000 bucks in our quaint Antipodean chump change. I can't believe those dicks at Hyundai Europe actually produced a quote for such a patently uneconomic repair. Hashtag optics. What they should have done was invite Mr. Westberg over for a two fraulein massage and half a dead pig, like one after the other, not contemporaneously. Let's not try to cheap out on that. And otherwise induce his frown into upside down mode. Large corporations have ample coin to do this. The only impediment being they also have collective shit for brains from time to time, generally on every day ending in Y. Fuel cells, of course, are hardly new technology, are they? They were used on the Gemini and Apollo space programs and on the space shuttle to provide electricity and drinking water. They're even used today on the International Space Station. They take compressed hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and they combine them into chemically pure water using mad voodoo, also known as a proton exchange membrane with respect to Arthur C. Clarke on that one. This creates electricity and you can use it to drive a car up to 84,000 kilometres before a great steaming turd of uneconomic, outdated dysfunctionality stops it dead in its tracks, evidently. 
I first drove a fuel cell iX35 somewhere in between 2010 and 2015. It was an experimental prototype somewhere in Seoul in South Korea and we made a really, really big song and dance out of drinking the water that it urinated out of its prosthetic penis on Channel 7. Doing this on camera was quite emotional, as you might imagine. The first time I ever drank automotive urine on air. I never thought my life would come to that. This miraculous technology, right? The fuel cell, not the prototype car's prosthetic pee-pee. It would be remarkably clean and potentially planet-saving if only making the hydrogen in any way, but especially from methane, wasn't so preposterously filthy and energy intensive. Just Google the term steam reforming methane for more on that. But don't try it at home, dude. You need a boiler at, I think it's 1100 degrees C, and if that doesn't explode and wipe every house off the block, the carbon monoxide poisoning will probably also make the news. 97% of the world's hydrogen gas gets made in exactly this ridiculously filthy way. Now, before any of you geniuses chime in in the comments just to let me know that hydrogen is in fact the most abundant element in the universe, yeah, it is. That would be elemental hydrogen. Hydrogen gas, however, is a completely different thing. It's a compound and there's almost none of it here on Earth. All the hydrogen here is statistically locked away in things like water, methane and other hydrocarbons. If you want hydrogen gas on Earth, you have to manufacture it. It's that simple. It's an industrial product. And like most industrial products, it is properly filthy to make. Making it by electrolyzing water is only slightly less filthy. These are called facts and you don't have to like them. So anyway, auto build in Germany, which is kind of like wheels media here in Australia, only not utterly shit. Auto build gets a whiff of this amazing repair bill story and it sends Hyundai Germany a polite WTF. And they respond helpfully with, well, we only sold about a thousand fuel cell iX35s and they're all obsolete now. What did you expect? I'm paraphrasing. What I would expect, frankly, is the keys to a frickin' new Nexo. And I would expect to drive it away, fully massaged, to the extent that I was no longer feeling all that shooting pain down my left side, and with my gullet overflowing with at least half a dead pig for the long drive home. I mean, for fuck's sake, this guy, <laughs> Westberg, he's an ambassador. He had to drive 114 kilometers for a fucking refill in Würzburg, which is more or less Frankfurt's anus. That's commitment. Of course, the fuel cell, which took the great steaming dump you can see from space, was a somewhat niche product. It was built entirely by hand, for example. All 1,000 of them were. The fuel cell in the Nexo, by comparison, is a next generation product and it is mass produced. And this is really slashed its replacement cost. The handmade one in the iX35, right? 85,000-ish euros for that one. But if you'd like to buy a Nexo fuel cell as a spare part, according to AutoBuild, this can be yours for only 41,650 euros. That's under 71,000 Australian dollars. This might be a big step forward, of course, economically, but speaking for every human being on Earth who's not a complete dickhead, I think it might be prudent to wait just a little while longer before jumping on the hydrogen fuel cell bandwagon with your own money. <laughs>